Topping the news this Wednesday, residents in New Providence, Abaco, and Grand Bahama will have to endure COVID-19 restrictions for a while longer. As Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis announced at a national press conference this afternoon that a new weekday curfew of 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. will begin this Friday, October 30th, on those islands. That means the weekday curfews will now begin at 8 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. The Prime Minister also noted that the full weekend lockdowns in New Providence and Abaco remain. On Abaco, food stores may now open on Saturday from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in addition to the weekly hours already done. All beaches and parks on New Providence and Abaco may open effective Monday, November 2nd. That is, Monday through Friday. The beaches will remain closed on Saturday and Sunday. Groups are limited to five individuals, and the COVID-19 Enforcement Unit will heavily monitor both beaches and parks. For the construction industry, companies on islands under 24-hour curfew may apply to the competent authority for permission to operate over the weekend. Effective Saturday, October 31st, exercise is permitted in one's immediate neighborhood from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. on New Providence and Apico, that is, on Saturdays and Sunday. The Prime Minister also indicated that before November 1st, Ministry of Tourism officials will detail their updated plans for reopening the tourism industry with information on restaurant operations and tourism-related activities. He says health officials will evaluate the rate of transmission two weeks following that November 1st reopening. Let me be very clear. A negative RT-PCR test for COVID-19 is required for all individuals entering the Bahamas, including Bahamians and legal residents, regardless of the amount of time an individual has been abroad. And I wish to remind Bahamians and residents that you should have sufficient funds to cover the cost of the necessary test and any other COVID-19 related or medical expenses that may arise during your travel. To put this in simple language, I advise Bahamians as we open those who travel abroad to have sufficient funds in the event you are tested positive in that particular country and they require you to be quarantined for 14 days.